Sorry guys, my battery ran out, uh, so I had to change batteries and also I had to change the memory card. So like I was saying before, work on your thoughts because whatever you're thinking is what you will experience in reality. It's very simple. So whatever you're thinking is what you will experience in your reality. And the secret is to get hold of your thoughts and to control them. I'm gonna repeat myself. Control your thoughts as much as you can. Don't let your thoughts wander off and be thinking something else. Always bring them back and control them. This is gonna sound weird, but when I was uh, when I was first learning the secret of attraction, uh, the law of attraction. Sorry, I used to find it quite difficult to control my thoughts because my thoughts were always wandering all over the place all the time, and someone then said to me you know like when you've got a little puppy and you're training it because it's like so interested oh what's over there oh what's over here oh you know they're always they're all over the place and they don't listen to you and you've got like a clicker thing to get their attention to concentrate on you and to listen to your command and the same way is you need to train your thoughts get hold of them and for them to listen to you so whenever you find yourself thinking of a negative thought Whenever you find yourself thinking of something that you don't want to experience in your reality, even if it's like, oh, I don't have the money for, stop yourself. Stop right there. Oh, I don't have Mr. Right because I, no. So that's it. You're constantly trying to train your thoughts to think what you want them to think because your thoughts create your reality. Again, something that you're gonna hear me repeat often in this series but it's just that I want um, I want to emphasize it as much as possible because again like I say it's very simple your life is a feedback of what's going internally so whatever is going on internally is what you're gonna experience externally and like I said most people will argue on this one and I am open to to communicating what I feel about the topic but is something that if it resonates with you it resonates with you if it doesn't then you don't have to listen you know um, this was just like a topic that kept kept coming on quite often people asking about law of attraction and this is how I basically work with law of attraction so whatever areas of my life that I'm not happy with I start trying to train my thoughts in that area to to then work on my thoughts internally and subconsciously which is what I'm going to be touching on in these videos how to train your subconscious thoughts because most of the time when you're thinking subconsciously that's when it's autopilot and it's just constant noise going on back there you want to sort of like get into your subconscious mind then that way creating the life that you want becomes a lot more uh, a lot more easier I haven't completely mastered the law of attraction I'm not gonna say that I have it's a constant uh, it's a constant educational system uh, it's something that you're constantly learning on I always say that you know once you've mastered everything in life then what is the purpose of you being here anything in life that just goes on a straight line is dead you know in life everything is up and down up and down and that's just the way life is um, so I have many things that I need to work on um, but this is just how I worked on the law of attraction at the beginning and like I said again for me it was finding Mr. Right, it was finding uh, peace and security and that's something that I really focused on and worked on my subconscious mind to start controlling what I'm thinking and what I'm seeing and so so guys in this um, in this whole video series what we're gonna be talking about so you can be prepared is we're gonna be touching on meditation meditation is a very important tool one that's overlooked quite often when you learn to calm your mind down and just calm it down all those little voices and chatter and stuff like that and just try to connect with the universal energy you know meditation will really help in your journey through law of attraction so I definitely will say even if you can do meditation for 30 seconds to start off with that is fine 
Meditation is almost like uh, building your stamina, you know? When I started at the beginning, I could only last a couple of seconds before I started thinking about, oh, what am I gonna eat for dinner? Oh, this and that. That's what I said, you know, controlling your thoughts and trying to, to train them is quite difficult and challenging at the beginning, but the more you, you learn, uh, the more you practice, the more easier it gets. So meditation is something, something that I recommend a hundred percent it doesn't matter what religion you are it doesn't matter meditation is is a beautiful way of just connecting and calming down your thoughts and just connecting with the universal intelligence that's way more intelligent than you and it is just it's just a beautiful thing so we're going to talk about meditation uh, definitely and then another thing we're going to talk about is visualization i've touched on this like uh, visualization I've lost my words I've touched on visualize really <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say right once it's done once you say a word wrong you can never get it right I've touched on visualization um, briefly when I was saying when I went to bed I used to think about um, what my life would have been like I'm gonna touch on this oh my goodness I'm gonna touch on visualization uh, more in depth because again this is a tool that's very very powerful and one that's definitely is part of the whole law of attraction um, magic <laughs> I couldn't think of the word it, it, it's just it's interconnected you know it's interwoven uh, meditation visualization and um, another thing we're going to talk about is positive affirmations. Affirmations are crucial, absolutely crucial in the law of attraction and we're going to talk about positive affirmation a lot. Positive affirmation is one of those things that helped raise my self-esteem and raise my vibration and how I view the world is once I started changing in the inside what I was experiencing on the outside. Uh, started changing as well. So positive affirmation is one thing that we're gonna definitely talk about um, Another thing we're gonna talk about is energy Energy is very important. I mean Energy as I'm delivering these videos. I hope you can feel the energy that I'm trying to Get through to you guys, you know, I hope you can connect with that energy and feel that Yes the vibe is good yes the vibe you know we always talk about vibes what what is vibes vibes is energy so so energy is very important and understanding the energy that you're putting out and the energy you're attracting back is part of the whole of the law of attraction so something that we're definitely gonna touch on and what's once we touch on um on energy and vibration vibes um we're also going to be talking about emotions. Emotions are like are like another ingredient into the mix, right? It's like when you're making a cake, if you don't have the eggs, you're not going to get a cake, right? It's like all these things are part of the ingredients that you need to work on to create a beautiful creation of whatever it is that you want. So emotions, what you're feeling, um, control a lot of things and emotions is something that you definitely need to talk about because like i always say what you're feeling is probably one of the major things in law of attraction because feelings you know you get that gut feeling you know you get that that feeling in your in your stomach you know that's creation right that's that's part of creation so energy emotion that you put behind that energy are all part of the mix so we're going to talk about um emotions as well a lot and i'm trying to think i'm sure that there'll be other things that i'll probably think of along the way and then finally i'm going to be sharing the different books the different um the different tools that i used uh and also the different um what do you call it the different people I like to listen to on YouTube like I always say I don't usually have the radio in the house on I don't usually have the TV in the house on I don't usually have just background noise because I always think 
that background noise carries its own vibration and sometimes it's not something that I want you know when you listen to a song it creates a feeling within you and sometimes I'm just humming to a tune I think oh okay I'm not feeling so good or I'm feeling very good so I don't usually have those things on um, so I'm gonna definitely share with you what I usually listen to on a daily basis and what's usually playing in my home and what else okay this one is probably gonna sound a bit weird but it's I mean you can take it you don't have to but it's something that is also part not to not to a lesser degree but it's something that I also implemented because I also learned about was energy cleansing right do you know what energy cleansing is energy cleansing is like when you use sage or when you use uh, smudge sticks I don't know Google smudge sticks YouTube smudge sticks and you understand so when I was going through like the breakup with my ex and stuff like that obviously there was high energy negative energy in in the home that we're living and it wasn't very good right so energy cleansing is something that I started doing and basically right we're gonna touch on energy cleansing um, in the series because this video is getting really long and I didn't even mean for it to be this long so I'm sorry I'm gonna break this video up into um, into probably two or even three videos so that you can come back and listen to whichever part you want instead of trying to think oh which which bit was it so for ease of use and also for my brothers and sisters out there that are in Africa with uh, internet connection that's not always the greatest when I upload videos that are 20 minutes 30 minutes long uh, you guys always tell me that oh can you make them a bit shorter because our download speeds and stuff like that over here are not great so I just want you to know that I hear you and so definitely I'm gonna break this uh, this video because it's quite long so I'm gonna break it up so um, you don't have problems with uh, connecting to the internet if you're in a country that's got problems with internet connection and also for everybody else you can choose which part of this talk that you want to listen and replay and uh, it just makes it easier like part one part two or part three uh, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna break that down because this talk just flows as one I didn't segment it into different uh, parts so um, so I'm not really sure I'm gonna do that I'll probably upload the videos all at the same time time and then just title them part one part two part three whatever many parts they are so guys that has been energy <laughs> giving uh, and yeah I definitely like putting a lot of energy and a lot of feeling and a lot of love and a lot of um, caring because I really care about you guys you know I really want you to to experience happiness I want you to get what you want in life but you know before we can get anything that we want in life sometimes we have to put the work we have to to you know cleanse out some cobwebs and retune our thinking and stuff like that so so I definitely have put a lot of love a lot of emotion a lot of positive vibes into this video I hope you feel that I do this with utmost respect to you guys and with so much love and um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching these videos it always means a lot to me when you watch our videos so I uh, thank you so much and I sincerely 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 hope that you find this series of videos helpful um, that's my intention is just to be as helpful as possible to be of service to, to you guys to others because we need to always uplift each other it's very important and that's one thing I also learned when I was learning the secret is you know whatever you want to experience in the world you should become that thing you understand so if you want to experience more love in the world you should become more loving if you want to experience more caring into the world you should become more caring and for me what I want to experience is to elevate our people especially you know it's about time that we have found happiness it's about time that we have just you know cracked the code and 
I want to sincerely share everything that I know and I just hope that even if one piece of information gets through to you and changes something then my my wish and my intentions have been accomplished I always try to connect to the divine power I always try to say a prayer to God to say you know give me the right words to communicate this message and to to be um, for people to understand what I'm trying to say and just to be as much love and a source of positivity as much as possible so guys with so much respect and so much thank you for watching this video um, take care and I'll see you next week when we share part two of this series of videos and part two will probably I'm not really sure I haven't um, Part two is probably going to be about uh, this. I can't say that word again. <laughs> See, I'm saying I can't. Then my brain makes me not be able to say that word, right? I can say that word and the word is visualization. There you go. So next week we'll be going to be sharing the topic of visualization. And we are going to be diving in deeper into that topic. And for me to share again what I know and just to share the knowledge that I have. There is more knowledge out there, but at this present moment in time, this is what I know, and I'm happy to share what I know. And so guys, this has been a long video. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go. With so much love, so much respect, thank you so much for watching, and that's it guys. Bye. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos from us. And that's it. Bye.